Alright, so we're going to put the uh, bed on. It's easiest to put it in. And I've got the box here because it's a lot easier to put the wheels on it up here. Otherwise, it'll be all the way down there and you can't get to the bottom wheel. So, you want to uh, mark your eccentrics. See how I marked that side right there? And that's the side you want sticking out when you first put it in. And that gives your adjustment of your wheels all the way out. Take your tube of grease and you want to grease the shoulder all the way around. And it also helps stick this on there. So, see how the washer's kicked off to one side? Just take this like that. So start the, you want it in there like that. Put this right in. Oops. Nice, Dennis. Washer, lock nut. adjust the wheels and so I like to push on this side make sure I've got both wheels in contact and I can kind of look straight down here and you can see how there's a gap I don't know if you can see it but You want to adjust it until you can feel a slight drag on the wheel and you don't see any daylight underneath it.
to cycle it up and down a few times by hand just to get the bearings seated in the wheels and I can check for any kind of play. So now what you'll do is you use the, the belt to align your holes. I want to be able to shoot inside the hole there. Just like that. Same for the other side. So I don't put it all the way in right now. And what I'll do is I'll use the belt and I'm watching the head of the button head screw and watch it tilt back and forth. Right there. So I'll kind of push down on top of the motor. Now once you get it to this point, don't move the bed by hand at all or you'll pull it out of the bottom bearings. So you're pretty much set. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the uh, heated bed on here and adjust it. So we're going to install the heated pad, the heated bed. So you want to make a mark. I've got the trolley all the way back to the left where the home position is and you want to be three and a quarter from the edge or 82 and a half millimeters. Make a mark. Well, we use a And that's where you'll line up the edge of your bed. And so what I'm gonna show you is how to set your brackets. So I'll go ahead and loosen these up. So line up your bed on your pencil mark. So I'm going to take the M5 by 35s that hold the bed on and I'm going to run it up through the bottom with some extra T-nuts. So I've got my bracket aligned with the hole and I'm going to put it in from the bottom so I can still reach the, the screw head. And I'm going to thread my T-nut on there.
Yeah, it doesn't have to be super tight, just finger tight. Before I commit, I want to make sure I can still see my pencil marks, and I can, and I'm going to push down on the bed while I tighten the bracket. If you don't push down on the bed, it'll kick it up. Now you notice I've got the wiring harness in the front right now, but I'm going to flip it around to the back. Looks good. So now I just got to add the spring and the lock nut. A bit of grease inside the lock nut. And that keeps it from galling because you're stainless steel on stainless steel. So the easiest way is to get the nut, get the washer spring. Now I'm going to cheat and use this, but you want to tighten it up until the spring's almost completely compressed with just a little bit of a gap in it. Not like that. So, on this one, it doesn't look like the plate's countersunk enough, so I'm going to have to countersink it deeper.
happens occasionally you're running these tables like this. Alright, that's it. And then I'll usually uh, tape the wiring harness up on the plate to keep it out of the way. Right there. Yeah, but, yeah. That's it. Oh.